okay so let's take a look at how you can install bitnami's web stack so web stack is basically apache postgres and php and to download that we go to bitnami.com and click on applications and here you will find that you have this tab windows mac linux click on that so once you go there you will find multiple stacks okay out of which you will find vamp where you have mysql right then you have lamp for linux then map for mac os right and here you see windows web right so web basically is mixture of postgres and php apache right and it comes with php flavor which is 8.1.4 right here as you can see the version of php is given at the end of this particular stack and it will come with bundled postgres admin so you have that added option as well now this can be installed as installer or you can also download the virtual images so for that you can go to applications right and here you can choose to have virtual machines as well so if you click on that then you have to find the map okay so unfortunately the image for map is not available so what we'll do is we'll stick with windows installer that downloads this map so you click on that and then again click on this particular installer right then it should show you this download window where you can just click on no thanks just take me to download when you click on this it should start the download right and it should look something like this right so we'll have to first double click on it it will ask for you for permission so we'll wait for that to happen unfortunately you won't see that permission window here but when you do double click it should be visible now here within this setup you can select next to start selecting components so here i don't have any specific component in mind so i will uncheck them okay if you want you can install and clear the components that you don't want right so if you want you can keep zen framework right and laravel if you want so we'll just uncheck them click next now here you will see that it will be within this particular directory if you want you can simply change this to wap right so just rename this to wap right so see bitnami wap right so reduce the amount of dash and dots and numbers so let's click next here you see apache web server is on 81 because it is already used by some other software it has detected that right so click next and here you see you need postgres equal user password so let's choose something simple demo 22 right so we have that password now click next you can choose to include this with cloud but in my case i'm going to uncheck that click next and it will start the installation now at the end of installer you will find that it will ask you to open the web package click finish 
allow the permission to run this now here you'll notice that you have local host address 127.0.0.1.81 now you can also check out web package controller right so basically this allows you to manage your servers which is Postgres and Apache you can configure both of them to be on specific ports right you can notice that you have Postgres is also running so you have to stop and then configure similarly you will also find server events right so apart from that you will also find that you have this particular folder when you click on application folder right so here you'll see you have Apache folder where you have HD docs this is where you host your projects and if you want to edit this particular index HTML you will have to edit this file right so pretty much this is simple installed that will that you can do on your 